Welcome back, gamers. We're returning back to Fallout 4. It's been, I don't know, three days since I last recorded. I don't know, I did like four episodes in a single day or something like that. Something, something weird like that. And uh, I've been kind of missing this game, honestly. It's, it's actually kind of weird. Uh, I've played this game. I've played through it maybe 16 times. Most of them not being like very serious playthroughs. A couple of them were very devoted. I never got to like, you know, super high tier. Like maybe I beat the game like three times, but I've like played it for fun a few times. So last time we left off, we walked here with Paladin Dance, and now we're gonna finally look through here. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Uh... Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Institute Synths? I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. What are Institute Synths doing in this place? This Whoa, place I'm mess. acting like I'm very surprised. Yeah, there's not gonna be much to sweep and retrieve once I'm done with this place. <laughs> I can almost guarantee that. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Lab analysis terminal, we got a fan. Alarm clock. Hoo hoo. Studies? Nope. Stories is too close. Maybe manhood? Ooh, that's a little closer. Uh, legions. Nope. Sweeping for duds. Yeah, let me let me, let me know how you guys are enjoying the series. I know that I'm doing a, a bit longer episodes, which some of you probably don't like, but I figure it's probably better with a game like this, just because of you know how big it is. Groups, no outcome. There we go. There we go. It's just like, I feel like a, a 10 minute episode of this would be... Yeah, I would get like nice nothing done. Let's get oh, so oh, Target eliminated. Very accurate. Institute stuff. What sucks is that the Institute pistols don't scrap for much. Holy God. What just happened here? Why were there 15 explosions? Jesus Christ, Paladin Dance. Is someone present? Sure, yes, I am present. Hello. So hard to even aim this gun. Oh, well Paladin Dance has it completely covered. Great. <coughs> Why was that bad to disarm the thing? Disarm Tesla Arc. Cabinet. Fusion cells. Ooh, it's safe. And I can unlock it. Sweet. That is how you do it. 
military ammo bag, stealth boy. Perfect. Ooh, a lob terminal. Oh, I didn't think I had an expert. Okay. Governor. How's it going there, Governor? Here he is. That's it. Hey, hey! Oh, it's just the computer for the safe control. Great. Large toolbox. There we go. That's it. Duct tape, flip lighter. Okay. Paladin Dance is waiting eagerly, e eagerly for me to join him. What I'm very happy about with this game is I don't have to look for blueprints and stuff. You just sort of unlock the uh, the new schematics for guns as you progress in that one thing. The synths have compromised most of the facility. Wow, if I'm if I'm talking like a brainlet right now, it's because I'm so tired. Uh, cause that one oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Cause that one perk. Like the crafting perks, when you unlock them, they unlock the crafting recipes. Fallout 76 is different. You have to actually find the schematics for those crafting recipes by either disassembling weapons or other things. Remain schematics and all that fun stuff. Turrets ahead. See why this is an easy mission? Nice. Energy weapons permanently inflict 5% more damage. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. Nice shooting there, Paladin Dance. Thanks for doing all the work, Paladin Dance. Oh, another safe, Paladin Dance. I'm just gonna do some of the Brotherhood sweeping a little early, if yes. you don't mind. Armor piercing 10. Pretty sure that's just the same weapon I have. Maybe a bit better. Provide fire support for Paladin Dance. Wow, I did it. I provided support. I was helpful. Clipboard. Bathrooms. Door. Supply closet? Ooh, with ammo. Another safe. This place is great for loot. Got it. Gotta say. Yeah, I can get screwed from it. Might as well take it. Carrying too much stuff. Oh, this is unacceptable. Hey, hey. Nick. What's the plan? Wait there. I'll stay put. Come on. You need to take more stuff. Uh, that. Oh, it just has a higher fire rate. Lower damage, okay. Uh, what else can I give you? Here's all of my junk. There we go. Now I have plenty of space. Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. If you say so, there, Paladin Dance. If you say so.
Ooh, Medex, Radex. Nice, nice. Here, you know what I'm gonna do? The uh, the volume for people's audio is very low for some reason. I'm gonna turn on the music a couple hairs. And the effects a hair. That should be better. Should be easier listening for you guys. Oh yeah, this, this way. Oh! This also reminds me, there's a special weapon down here. The Junk Jet. Bingo. This is what Paladin Dance wanted all along. Was the ultimate weapon in the uh, wasteland. Ooh, and a fusion core too. Nice. Uh, might as well loot this first. Sometimes novice locks are the hardest to unlock. Uh, should I? Do, do I have? No, I don't have fragments. Okay. Facilities terminal. Gift. Spin. Glow. Glow is the closest. Don't want to leave anything to risk though, since this is a mission objective terminal right here. Let's reset. It was glow. So we gotta find a word that's similar to glow. Grew. Nice. There we go. Start auxiliary generators. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled. Primed. And standing by for your command. Okay. I'll press the red button. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Hold and dance. Get in the Four. goddamn door. Three. Oh, there we go. Every time I do this, I always, like, Two. almost kill Paladin Dance. I've never actually gotten him in the door. One. Engine firing. That was pretty cool, eh? Test firing completed with an Uh, I need food. Pork and beans. Efficiency rating of 96.7%. Oh my god, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. Oh, you were behind this solid steel door. To get to the transmitter. Let's go. Sorry, I just need to pick up all these fusion cells. That's another thing, too. This mission gets you a lot of fusion cells. Going down. 
which is really good against, you know, things with high armor. Okay, I guess I'll go up without you. Going up. Eh, he'll make his way up here. Hello? <laughs> this is just like, hello? Who dis? Range transmitter we're looking for. And there it is. And now Paladin Dance is just like, oh, we found it. Let's get out of here. But I'm like, Paladin Dance. There's all this stuff here. Fragmentation grenades. Got pipe revolver pistols. Been up here, I guess. Yeah, I guess we can go to the surface now. Oh, wait. Two Simpacks, purified water. Whole Lordy Lou. Going up. Let me see how much. Uh, 319 fusion cells now. It's amazing. Paladin dance. All right, check your corners and keep it quiet. The bunker looks clear. Let's move out. Bunker is not clear. It still has a stim pack in it. Paladin dance. Keep the noise down. This oh yeah, we gotta walk three more feet, and then I can speak to Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother. I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. <laughs> we were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. This is another reason why I wanted to do this. Critical shots do double damage and the critical mirror fills 15% faster. So it's just a really good laser rifle. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. When we met at the police station, you told me you wanted to join the Brotherhood of Steel. Is that something you're still willing to do? Or should we just say our goodbyes? I'd be honored to join. I'll follow your lead here, but let's try and keep it light on the zealotry, shall we? That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station. And Goddamn we'll Valentine. The you think your opinion matters here? Valentine, huh? Damn, I bought. Not that it's an option. So, righteous authority. Less damage, less fire rate, less range, less accuracy, plus weight, plus value. So, I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade it a bit. But once I do, it'll be way better than this thing. 
Alrighty, let's see. Does this have anything I want? Military grade circuit board, cool. Anything okay. Useful? So I'm pretty sure. I need to do a quick save. I'm pretty sure he wants me to go back to the police station. Looks like a return to Cambridge police station. Oh man, if I ever saw that table, ho doggy. I would not be complaining at all. Nice power armor helmet, fat man, mini nuke. Laser pistol, some fusion cells. Some sort of modification, that'd be pretty cool. We got some more fusion cells up on that barrel. Duct tape. That blowtorch has oil. That's a very sought after, uh, what's it called? Junk item. Resource, resource, there we go, that's the word. Wow, am I ever... It's almost like I'm dazed today. I don't know what it is. Very low, calm video today. Nothing too over the top today. It's nice. Hopefully I can wake up soon and we'll be just Glad to see good you alive day. And well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Aelin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. I'm only in it for the spiffy uniforms. Oh yeah? And here I thought you joined <laughs> up for a sense of purpose and meaning. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. I don't have to prove anything to you. Yeah, you do. You need to prove that you aren't going to put a round in my back the minute I turn around. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Uh, I kind of don't want to support them. Dance? Are you ready to head up to the ship? Of course yes. I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. Yeah, but for who? That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. This is pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to go all the way over to the Pridwin in this episode. 
I figured the arc jet systems would have probably taken up this whole episode. But I guess we'll get to the Pridwin then, uh. Paladin. Get to the Pridwin, and I guess that'll probably be it for this episode. That this door will open. Yay, I can finally escape. I guess that's one little glitch that, uh, they fixed in, uh, Fallout 76. Huh. Ride the vertebird. Oh, and I get a minigun too. Loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Make oh, sure some you free XP. Identify your target before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. Okay, what do we got? The Commonwealth looks different from up here. Doesn't oh, isn't this it the Institute University? Me how I think it is. Your perception of the battlefield oh. changes from the air. We're going to need that in if we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior. Which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority... Yeah, their laser weapons really suck. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Not really much on the ground right now. Everyone down there believed in our cause. But they've been blinded. By rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. We're on final approach to the airport. Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Paladin dance is definitely lawful good. Questions. Literally talks like a freaking medieval paladin. There's the Pridwin. It's hard to really shoot anything when you can't really see anything to shoot. Because everything is literally out of your freaking loading range or whatever. Like the texture right there isn't even loaded. <laughs> Nick really does not like my minigun. Something to say? There we go. Okay, well, I guess in the next episode, we'll uh, we'll meet Elder Max and then become a knight for the Brotherhood of Steel. But until then, we'll see you next time.